out of her. Go! Ouch. For a minute, lift your hands, pray in the spirit for her. Those sick in body, place your hand on that infirmity. In the name of Jesus, Father God, heal that one. I stretch my hand in faith and I believe for the people. I rebuke sickness now. I rebuke disease now. Commanded to leave their bodies in Jesus' holy and mighty name. People of God, lift your hands, begin praying in the Holy Ghost out loud right now. Come on. You are the God that healeth me. You are the Lord. I heal. Keep praying. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. You sent your word, healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost. You are the God 
that healeth me. Someone with a, a problem in your knee, the doctor said you need an operation. Move that left leg up and down, you'll find the pain is gone. Everyone pray in the Holy Ghost. God is healing people right now. You sent your word. You healed our disease. Arthritis in the shoulders and the neck, the neck area. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost, even as I call out healings. Move your shoulders, move your neck. That pain is leaving you now. An infection in someone's left ear just cleared up. You can hear me now clear out of your left ear. You're the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. Healed my disease. Someone's skin, somebody's skin just been healed just a second ago. Somebody's skin was healed. You felt fire go through your skin. Literally, you just felt fire on your body. A lower back injury. You injured your lower back. The Lord just healed you right now. Many of you feel electricity on your body. That's the power of the Holy Ghost healing you. Oh, people, come on. Pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Cancer, lung cancer. I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. I rebuke that cancer now. That lung cancer has just been healed. You are the God that healeth me you are the lord a heart condition someone's heart it's a lady it's a lady you've been struggling with your breathing with your heart god is touching your heart you feel warmth all over that area all over the chest area you feel like a blessed gentle warmth keep praying you are the God that healeth me. Swelling, swelling around the, the knees and the ankles. You've, you've been having a lot of swelling, especially in the right leg. And you feel like electricity just went through your body. I rebuke that problem in Jesus' name. You've been losing feeling also in that leg. A lot of problems with the not only swelling, but a lot of problems with no feeling in your leg. And you're feeling like heat going down, up and down, up and down your leg right now. That's the power of God. Many of you feel electricity. Some of you feel like a, a gentle warmth. Others feel like a deep warmth. If you feel that healing anointing on your body, if you feel that healing anointing and you know God is healing you like that woman with the issue of blood where she felt in her body. If you feel it in your body and you know God is really doing it, get up out of your seat, come line up to the right of the of the of the of the of, the, of this auditorium. Quickly, come on. You come out of that seat if you feel that anointing and you know like the woman with the issue of blood that God is really healing your body. You come and stand over here. Everyone else, lift your hands and pray in the Spirit. Someone's, uh, you've not been able to breathe through your nose. Right now you can. Pray just a few more minutes, come on. You are the God that healeth me. You are the Lord, my sweet precious healer. Somebody's right hip. Somebody's right hip is being healed. If you'll move that leg, you'll find no pain. You've had a lot of pain for three and a half months. You've had pain in your hip three and a half months at least. It's been really bad in your hip. You almost, you almost left tonight and went home because of the pain was so bad. I'm glad you stayed because God has just healed you completely. If the Lord is healing you, you come out uh, of that seat and line up right here. That healing and anointing is still flowing. So lift your hands and pray just another moment. You sent your word. You healed my disease. What happened to the lady right pa here? Pastor Benny, this lady was totally, I mean, she could not even move. Cripple. Back problems, hips. The power of God hit on her chair. She got up. 
heal. And this is her cane right here. And now don't touch me. That the noise is flowing through you, darling. There it goes, there it goes. Now, come, come here. How long have you had the problem for? How long have you had the problem for? Oh, for two years. And you've had both of these. Oh, the other, oh, there's someone else. And my knees. Are... Well, pick up your knees. Pick up. <laughs> take your seats. Take your seats, all of you. Take your seats. Pardon? Look at me. Well, thank the Lord, darling. Well, thank God. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Come here, darling. Come here. You're the one from last night. Three brain operations. There's no equilibrium from 92. Has not walked on your. Oh, oh, that's your husband. Your husband. So I'll come pray for him. No, no, just get on the Lord now. And 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 with you, what was wrong with you? I got lung disease. It's called bronchitis. Stretch, stretch your hands towards him. in this place for her. That's it, Richard. That's it. Help her up, guys. your boldness. Now take her back to her seat. What happened to... This lady, Pastor Benny, could not even walk. She was crippled. The power of God hit her right on her chair and she is walking for the first time in a long time without this cane. What was wrong with her? What was wrong with you? I had tendonitis for over five years and uh, basically started Yeah, very bad. Every bad, every bad. Every bad, every bad. Now you lift your hands and pray for someone in your family who needs a healing touch. Let healing flow, Bruce. You can play the strings for me yourself. He doesn't know some of the songs. Pick her up, please. Now, now, all of you, lift your, your hand to heaven. Father, I, I release that anointing for the loved ones to also receive that healing touch, whatever they may be. Now all of you call out their names, call out their names. Father, I agree. Everyone calling out the name of loved ones, Lord, grant that request in their life. They'll see that miracle come their way in Jesus' name for that loved one. What happened to the, to the other people? Pastor Benny, this lady, help her, help her back, help her back. Severe arthritis, her knees, her back, her shoulders, the pad of God hit her there on the, on the third row, and the pain is and completely the gone. was where? The arthritis? It was, it, it was mostly in my right knee. It started out as an injury. 
Lord. And that's the one I feel healed. Jesus. And I can tell it's healed because it's still In Jesus' it. name, Lord, I thank you. Jesus, Jesus, sweet Jesus, there is something. One of you right here has been having troubles with your leg. Savior, sweet Jesus. You know the Lord cares for every little thing. Uh, someone's right toe. You hit it. You're over here. Your toe, you hurt your toe. You, come here. God cares about the toe. Even the little toe. Dear God. Now these guys, oh, they're not together. Pick them up. Pick them up. Which one is it? You, you hit it how? With the vacuum? Watch the vacuum next time, darling. Or you may have to come to another healing service to get healed. Wow. I was saying, you know, God says someone's toe. I said, Lord, I mean, it's just a little toe. But don't you love it that the Lord cares about the smallest part of you? Lift your hands and thank Him. If He cares about the small part, He cares about the big part. Where he leads me, I will follow. Row one, two, three. On the third row, there's a gentleman. You've had troubles with your heart. Palpitation. Your heart skips a lot. You're on the third row, and you're a gentleman, not a lady. It's one of you guys. You, 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 or that guy over there. Help her up. Your heart skips. You take a breath. And while I'm talking, you feel something over your chest. You're actually feeling something on you now while I'm talking. Help her up. Now that guy is still sitting there. Because you're ignoring it like it's not important. Oh, it is important to God. Because he wants you well, brother. And you've had trouble with a skipping heart, where the heart skips a lot of beats. It's one of you guys right here. Uh, what happened? Pastor oh, Benny, my good Ellen had a heart attack a few Ellen, weeks ago. I didn't know that. The power of God came on Five her. Five weeks ago. Five weeks ago, I had a heart attack. You know, she used to work with me. She, she did all the buses for the crusades. I mean, it felt like hot molasses just poured over my whole heart. In the name of Jesus, Lord, every bit of it, every bit of it, every bit of it goes, 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 goes. On a hill far away. Sing that beautiful old hymn with me, will you? On a hill far away, let me hear you. Rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross. 
where the dearest and best for the world of lost sinners was slain. Let me hear you say this. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange Someday for a crown, so I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will clean. Lift your hands to heaven. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross. Take this child and use, O oh Lord, till my trophies at last I lay down. Let the anointing rest upon her life. I will cling to the old rugged cross. Exchange it someday for a crown. Now, Lord, I dedicate her I declare that faith shall serve the Lord all the days of her life. Protect her, Lord. Protect her, anoint her. Let no sickness, major sickness, ever touch her life. She'll live a long, happy, healthy life, anointed in Jesus' name, covered by the blood. I declare, Amen. 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 The Lord just said, go lay hands on her. Lift your hands to heaven, come on. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood. It washes white For it reaches To the highest I dedicate him to the kingdom's service His life Shall shine for the Lord Jesus always In Jesus' mighty name I dedicate this child and his sister shall serve the King of Heaven. I dedicate her to Lord. Give me their names again, Richard. Christian, you will serve the Lord, Christian. Be a mighty evangelist and a mighty man of God. Adriana, Apriana. I dedicate you to the service of the kingdom of heaven. And I apply the blood of Jesus on your life. 
No major sickness will ever touch either of you. You will serve the Lord for the rest of your days. In Jesus' name. Last night, we almost had revival in the car about midnight. I began telling Tim, he drives me around and he's a wonderful Christian man, loves Jesus so deep. And I love it when someone has that loving heart for the master, complete dedication. Went to Bill Johnson's, you know. Some of the best young people today come out of that school. And I said, Tim, think about what the Lord has done for us. I said, oh, people have died for their countries. Even people who died for Hitler died for the wicked man. I said, now, the death of Jesus is different. Because when it comes to dying, many people died for others. They died for their countries, died sometimes for a loved one, maybe, friends, possibly. For scarcely, says Paul the Apostle, a man would die for a good man. But how about the death of Jesus? Mm, that's different. He who is life died for me. Humanity, the second you're born, you start to die. So dying, well, he's been dying since the day his mother bore him. Someone dying for a friend or dying for whatever nation. He's been dead. He's been dying. The, pro the process of death has been going on since he was born. But he who is life, who never knew death, That he who is life himself, not itself, himself, life, would choose to give up that life for me. I said, plus, he didn't just die. Why did he die? To take all the wrath of God that was to come on me to be His. All judgment. To literally take upon Him my sin through that act of death. Someone dying for a friend is not taking upon him their, their sins. Or the judgment for all eternity. The Son of God didn't just die. He laid down his life. He had the power to lay it down. He didn't have to. You, you got to understand that the body... The physical body of Jesus did not know death. There was no process of death in it. You're dying now. You and I have been dying since the day my mom and your mom bore us. There was no death process in his body. No sickness ever touched him. 
And the reason there is sickness is because death in your body and my body is alive. Till that day when we will be free from this body of death and corruption. But the Son of God, he, he, he didn't know death, no sickness in his body. That he was willing to give his life, perfect life, to take all my death and yours upon him. And all God's wrath. And all God's judgment eternally. And all our sins. By the time I said that, he had his hands up. He was about to have his own revival in the car. I said, no man can do that. Well, they can die, all right, but it means nothing. They've been dying since the day they were born. Die for a cause? Big deal. By dying for my sin, that's something different. Dying to take my judgment? Oh, that's something special. Taking my death eternally? And when death touched the one whose life, death was destroyed. He destroyed death by death. He destroyed death by dying. That's what the Bible says. Oh, death, where is your victory? Grave, where is your victory? Because Jesus destroyed death by dying. When death touched life, death was destroyed. That's why he rose from the dead. Death could not hold him. It was not possible for his body to see corruption. Tonight we celebrate his victory. And when you celebrate his victory today, God's going to literally touch your body. If you allow him. But we're coming to an end of a year. I'm going to ask God to anoint you fresh. So take the bread. Hold the bread up. Say, dear Jesus, I thank you for coming to this earth and loving me. I thank you for going to the cross in my place. I thank you for your sufferings. You suffered for me, Lord. Your body was broken that my body might be healed. And right now, I remember the scriptures. For you declared that your body was broken. And so now, I partake your broken body. And I thank you with all my heart for dying for me. And I promise to live for you and to serve you all the days of my life and eternally. Amen. Partake by faith in Jesus' name and be made whole.
lift up the cup. Say after me the blood. Thank you for the blood. Dear Lord Jesus, I remember that you carried your cross after they had beaten you, spit upon you, placed a crown of thorns upon your lovely head, whipped your back. I remember as they nailed your hands and your feet to the cross. And I remember as they lifted up the cross and you hung on it for me. And I remember when the soldier pierced your side. And I remember as blood and water poured out. For me, you died. For me, you shed your blood. For me, you suffered. For me, you cried. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? For me, you gave up the ghost. For me, you rose from the dead, ascending on high coming back again to earth to reign forever. And now I thank you for your blood. Cleanse me, wash me, make me whole. Anoint me, wonderful Jesus. Where the blood is, the oil is. Anoint me now in your holy name. Amen. Receive by faith in Jesus' name. Put your hands and thank him. Hallelujah to the Lamb of glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go ahead and put the plastic back in the, thank you. And I want you to pay attention. I don't want not one of you leaving. This is Friday night. Tomorrow you can sleep in. If you leave early, I pray you have a flat tire. Don't you love the presence of God? Don't you love being with the saints? What will you do home? You're gonna go sleep. Right. Or watch something horrible on television. Why go back and pollute your mind? 